I have here the game Darksiders 3 on my iPad uh, Pro 4th generation 12.9 inch via PlayStation 5 remote play. So uh, this is the PlayStation 5 uh, controller connected directly to this tablet in case if you want to use remote play. Uh, my advice is this, if you want to use your controller, don't let it pair it with the console. You need uh, either a separated controller or the same but connected via Bluetooth to your device. Uh, so this is the remote play from Sony. You can play any game that you have uh, on your uh, PlayStation. I have here my, um, uh, my PlayStation 5 as you see, and the game Darksiders 3. As you know, the game was released somewhere in the middle of uh, 2018 for PlayStation 4. And in the middle of 2021 for Nintendo Switch. Yes, you can play the same game on Nintendo Switch. I have a full review with the game for on Nintendo Switch OLED, and uh, you can uh, you can watch it here on my channel. Definitely the best experience. It is uh, like this on a remote play on a bigger screen. But also on Nintendo Switch, the game it's beautiful, but it has a downgraded graphic if you can accept that basically in uh, in any game on nintendo switch you have um, a lower graphic than uh, you would ex uh, expect maybe but still still the game is beautiful uh, over there I believe you already know by now you play with this character called Fury, one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse and uh, your quest is to capture the seven deadly sins. This is so impressive with every game that I play on my iPad or iPhone. Um, I'm still impressed because I can play this quality on a, on a mobile uh, device. This is uh, absolutely incredible. And maybe you're, you're curious how is... Um, are the frame rates, the, the graphic, uh, the controls? Well, it feels like you have the game here, and your tablet or phone is the main console, and that it works perfect. You have an excellent graphic, excellent frame rate, and perfect controls. And not to mention that if you use remote play with a uh, PlayStation 5 controller, you have access to these adaptive triggers in compatible games and this is absolutely fantastic the adaptive triggers are amazing
No way. Anyway, the, the game Darksiders 3 is a very beautiful game, either you play it on a Nintendo Switch or here on a PlayStation or Remote Play on your device. On Nintendo Switch it's a beautiful experience with a lower graphic, but you have uh, the advantage that you can play the game um, anywhere uh, you are basically, without needing internet. Hey, what happened?
you know if you like uh, this type of games then definitely this is uh, one of the best and it has a lot to offer for the player this is my opinion uh, anyway and for me this game is very important as as in fact uh, the entire collection because all the other games are great and i remember uh, playing for the first time um, uh, a game from uh, from this uh, category from this series and um, it was fantastic and still is don't forget that this game it's basically kind of a new game let's call it in this way and uh, the graphic it's absolutely beautiful it will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken if i may there is a well a sort of huff emanating from the talisman that glow will indicate when one of the seven is nearby i know so wise you are all that the council promised mistress I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. Let's keep this and let's go. You know, in my opinion, the best package that you can have at this moment is a Nintendo Switch OLED in my in my case and uh, a PlayStation, preferably PlayStation 5. By the way, do you have a PlayStation 5? Please share with us in a comment here. I'm curious. Uh, so, as I was saying, if you have a Nintendo Switch and a PlayStation 4 or 5, you have the best package you, i know at this moment you can get um, or not um, steam uh, deck console and uh, also that one is an amazing uh, and very interesting one but you will play on a on a lower uh, on a smaller screen and probably as far as I saw not all the game works and you need to, to do all kind of tweaks and settings but still it's an amazing console but if you want to play at this quality you cannot get something like like this on that steam console um, you know in my opinion they did kind of a mistake with, uh, with a smaller screen and they should have uh, put something uh, better as a as display an oled or something like this that's why my ipad pro is the best choice a huge screen and an impressive quality for the games and you know almost all the time when i when i play games i have internet connection wi-fi and I can play either um, here or why not on uh, on TV. But when I don't have internet connection, I enjoy my Nintendo Switch games because over there you have a lot, a lot of interesting games.
and even if the quality is lower you know nintendo switch is still an amazing uh, an amazing console It's impressive, but is it just me or is it out of place here? It is a maker tree. Most likely we will find refuge there. <laughs> So what do you think about uh, Sony Remote Play from PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 on your phone or tablet? Please share with us in a comment your opinions and let us know if you, if you use this. Also, I'm very curious if you have a Nintendo Switch and if you have Darksiders 3 on your console. As I said previously, you can uh, you have a full review here on my channel for Darksiders 3 for Nintendo Switch, also all the other games. Darksiders are here. Yeah, I have a full reviews for them. You have Darksiders 2, you have Darksiders uh, Genesis. With full unboxing um, game cards, basically physical uh, games for Nintendo Switch. Another advantage for Nintendo Switch are those physical game cards. You know, uh, Steam Deck has a huge, huge minus because doesn't offer the possibility to buy uh, physical games. Physical game cards like on uh, Nintendo Switch. That is a huge advantage.
curious as to who remains here, if anyone. Good evening. This will be fun for both of us. As you wish. Oh, do make sure they scream, horseman. So this is the game Darksiders 3 on I iPad Pro, fourth generation via PlayStation 5 remote play. An incredible game and an incredible service remote play, number one for me. Let us know what you think about remote play in a comment. Thanks for being here and don't forget to share, like, subscribe. This is very important for the channel and for the content. Thanks. A maker.